Today, I am going to be introducing you to the best plugin to use when streaming or recording any VTuber model using VC Face or VTube Studio. The name of the plugin is Spout2 and it's very simple to import to your streaming or recording software and start using. The reason that it's the best way to capture your model is because it doesn't show any interfaces either in VTube Studio or VC Face when you are recording or streaming. For example, if you pull up a menu during stream or during a recording, it will not appear when using this plugin. This means you can make any adjustments within your software when needed without it affecting your stream or your recording. First, we will start with VTube Studio. Make sure that you have the latest version installed. Then, once launched, you're going to want to go to your settings and then click on the camera icon at the top of your screen. If you scroll down on this menu, you will find Spout 2 Config, which you're going to want to turn on. This will allow your streaming software to find VTube Studio when the Spout 2 plugin is installed. If you are using VC Phase, then you're going to want to go to your settings and click on general settings which will appear along the top of your screen. If you then scroll down to where it says graphic settings, you will see an option for Spout 2 image capture support. By toggling this on, your streaming software will be able to detect the source when you have the plugin installed. Now, on to installing the plugin to your streaming software. If you're using Streamlabs, ensure that you have the latest version. Now, to add the Spout2 plugin, all you have to do is click the plus to add a new source, and then Spout2 should already be there under General Sources. Installing the plugin to OBS will take a few more steps. If you're using VTube Studio under the Spout2 config settings, you will see a button saying Install Spout2. If you click this, then click on More Info, then you will be redirected towards the information page for Spout2. However, I will have the GitHub link at the top of my description that you can follow to install the plugin. Once you're at the download page, also known as the releases page, you're going to want to download the OBS Spout 2 plugin install. When the download is complete, you're going to want to run it. A blue window might appear saying Windows protected your PC or something along those lines. On this, you're going to want to click run anyway. If you don't see this, then you may need to click more info before the run anyway button appears. After this, you'll see an installer pop up on your screen. This will go through the license and similar things, you're just going to want to keep clicking next until you get to the end. Please bear in mind, it will ask you to pick your install location. You need to make sure that this is where your OBS Studio is installed. Now that it is installed, you're going to want to open up OBS and press the plus button to add a new source. You should see that Spout 2 Capture is now available. This is what you're going to want to use to capture your model. Finally, we're going to have a look at the property settings. These are the same in both OBS and Streamlabs. You can see them by either double clicking on your Spout 2 source or by right clicking and then selecting properties. At the top, you'll see Spout Senders, which is going to tell the plugin which source to show. If you're just running one Spout source, then you can leave it on first available sender. But if you have multiple Spout capture sources running, you can click the box for a drop down and then select the source that you would like to use. Under this is composite mode. This is telling the plugin what to do with the background. If you choose opaque, then the background will be whatever background you have showing in either VTube Studio or VC Face. If you want a transparent background, be sure to choose one of the other options. Default typically works fine for this. Thank you for watching my video. Hopefully it was helpful to you and if it was, maybe consider leaving a like and maybe subscribing. I will be uploading more VTuber content soon, so be sure to look out for that. Okay, bye!